everyone and welcome to Class Act with Ilsa Klink, where I help you take the hustle out of getting your career started as an actor. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. And I hope that I can help you with whatever questions that you have. So if you do have questions at the end of this video, please um, ask them in the box below and I will try and answer them if I do have the answers or I'll go in the research and find the answers for you. <laughs> So at the end of each video, I have a little insert where I ask a professional actor to share with us one or two things that they wish they had known when they started out in the industry. And this is all to help you, right? Um, it's the beautiful Khonse Nsekhan. And she is just a fantastic actor. I adore her. I absolutely adore her. She's been seen in Bone of My Bones, The Queen. She's been on Scandal and on Rhythm City, to name just a few of the incredible things that she's done in her career. So she'll be chatting to you about the two things she wished she had known when she started out. So today, I would like to chat to you about agents. Getting an agent, where to find an agent, what you need to take with you to an agency to get signed and what is expected of you and how much percentage of you, the money that they help you earn um, gets taken off your salary. Um, you know, all of the essentials about what it is like to have an agent, right? So when you are looking for an agent, last week I spoke to you about what it is that you need. So you need um, headshots, you need a CV and you need um, a showreel, right? So if you don't have all of these things, if you're starting out, you don't know where to start and how to go about things, please watch my video from last week, the business of acting, right? So if you watch that video, you can get some information there. When you go to an agent, you need to take a headshot with you. Now you may not have professional headshots yet, but you need to take a, a photograph with you where um, you can at least be, if, if an agent accepts you on her books or on his books, um, you at least have a picture that can go with your CV. Even if your CV is bare, you're starting out, you know, everybody gets that. So sometimes you might not have a showreel because you're just starting out and you don't have anything. What you can do is record a monologue of yourself so that you have at least something that you can show the agent because they don't know if you can act. You know, you can say you, you studied and that kind of thing but um, they don't know if you can act. So give them something that they can work with, right? That's always a good idea. There's this wonderful um, website called the pma.co.za, right? So that is the Personal Managers Association. And that's where you can find just a few of the legitimate, now I say legitimate because there are some shysters out there, but these people are legit. There are agencies and agents out there who are not legitimate at all. Remember that when you sign with an agent, they have to get you work first before you pay them any money. So an illegitimate agency will ask you for a thousand rand, maybe a registration fee and another 1,500 rand for photographs and another this. If they're asking you for money beforehand, be very, very weary. I would say don't go there. An agency can only ask money from you once they have found work for you. So uh, the PMA agents take between 10 and 15 percent depending on what you're doing. So with voice it will be a different fee to a full. I mean if it's going up to 25 percent then I would be very weary, you know. So find out all of these things from the agent, how much they charge and what they normally do is they take the fee. Once you've secured a, um, a fee, they will take their fee off before you pay tax, right? So you don't pay as much tax also. Also, as a freelance performer and artist, you're going to pay 25% tax, right? And you're going to pay between 10 and 15% to your agent for the work that they've done so it's i mean it's quite a chunk so they do all of the negotiations for you they do all of those things and they run everything by you 
before you sign a contract. Maybe you give them power of attorney where they sign the contracts for you and they look through everything and they discuss everything with the producers that they are working with. So it's a very secure place to do. They take the hustle out of trying to negotiate yourself and then you start feeling bad. Now I can't ask this much. I'm not, so, I'm not worth this much. Go to an agent. They can do it for you. They'll know what to do. They've got the experience. Now, when you are finding an agent, it's always important to have some sort of discussion with them. A lot of the time you will send them an email or you can call them and send your CV through and your headshots and all of that. But it's always a nice idea to have a little bit of a meeting with them so you can get a sense of who they are and what they're about. A lot of the time agencies are quite full up. So they might not take you and don't take these things personally. This is something that you've got to learn early on in your career. Don't take rejection personally you're going to get rejected right through your career and that's okay do not take it personally you know you can get depressed if you do just just don't just don't. but if somebody is interested it's always nice they will probably ask you to come in for a meeting so that they can get a sense of who you are and what you can do and you can get a sense of them and i always say find somebody that you feel comfortable with right Sometimes an agency's energy or an agent's energy doesn't click with yours. That's okay. You know, sometimes they're very businesslike. Sometimes they're very friendly. A lot of them are. A lot of them really, really are. Sometimes you find that you have an agent or somebody's interested in you who you're not compatible with, right? You need to be comfortable with them. You need to be able to sit down with them and work out a career plan. What is it that I like? What is What am I interested in? Am I interested in film, TV, voice work? What is it specifically that I want to gear towards? And then let's see with your agent whether that's something that you can do. It's always fantastic to do everything that you can when you are starting out. Get as much experience as possible. Do theater. Please, please, please do theater. They would encourage you also to belong to Saga. They have fantastic classes there, um, not at the moment, obviously, with COVID, but they have fabulous, fabulous for 100, and I think it's 162 Rand at the moment per month, which is absolutely nothing. You get some courses there on how to do various things which will help you with your career. There are certain ways of going about having a good relationship with your agent. If they send you for an audition, you've got to respond to those emails that they send you or the WhatsApps that they send you. Yes, I'm going to the audition no i i don't i can't go is there another time you've got to be able to communicate with your agent so that you guys are on the same page if you can't make an audition that day let them know they are there to help you they want to help you so you've also got to take the reins and help yourself tell them what your difficulties are i know that my agent um sometimes if you don't have the facilities to do a self-tape they have the facilities there you know they can do it right there and send it off for you immediately you just need to get your agency so some agents do have that i think most of them do where you can do your self-tape with them if you have an agent that you feel is not working with you you're not getting enough work you need to find out or get some feedback with regards to what it is that is going on with your career why are you not getting auditions why are you not able to um to get jobs you need to speak to them and find out what the feedback has been from the casting agents um you know and yeah and listen and learn you know because they have open communication channels with the various casting agencies so you can find out what it is that you're not doing right maybe you walking into an audition in character already and they don't get a sense of who you really are please never do that never walk into an audition in character don't do that bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> so just go in as yourself whatever it is you know just get some feedback find out how you can improve get some information from them on how it is that you can improve what it is that you already have and they are always there to assist you if you are on a set where you don't feel comfortable with the certain things are happening on a set that you're not comfortable with your agency and your agent is there to protect you and to look after your rights speak to your agent and they will speak to the production company 
or with the people, with the clients that they're dealing with, they will speak to them and see to it that you are comfortable and happy wherever you are. They get their commission on every job that you do. If there are jobs that you've gotten for yourself, you need to speak to your agent um, and, you know, find out if they can possibly negotiate the contract for you at a particular rate. I'm sure that's always a possibility, you know. Um, don't hide things from them. If you are doing another job that you got yourself, don't feel like you need to not tell them. Please tell them, you know, so that they don't book you onto something else and then you double booked for things, you know, because you were trying not to pay commission. It's okay. You can speak to them. Have a good, good relationship with them. Don't fight. Don't shout. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right. And that's what I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments, please post them in the box below. If you have any questions, I will address them as well. I do give Skype consultations. I do audition prep. I do acting classes as well as career advice. So you can find me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. You can DM me direct message for the older folk <laughs> you can direct message me and um, yeah let's let's see what I can do for you let's hear what Honse has to say let's listen to the pearls of wisdom she's about to drop on us also it was a birthday yesterday so we wish you an absolutely wonderful happy birthday Honse Hello everybody, my name is Honse Nsehang and I'm here to talk to you guys about what I wish I had known um, uh, entering the industry. So one of the first and I think the most important thing uh, is personal management. I didn't really know what personal management meant until I saw it as I was in the industry. So to look at yourself as a business, you know, um, to take yourself seriously first and understand that you are a product that needs to be packaged and branded and marketed. Uh, and that's how you keep relevant. Those are things that I missed. Um, how to manage my time, how to understand my personal from my private, because coming to the next thing, don't get caught up in the hype, the celebrity hype, you know, uh, going out to the parties, you know, the drinking, the waking up late, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Look, I decided to bow out very early because it just wasn't working for me. Um, you spend so much money on different outfits because you want to look different every time there's an event and there's always an event happening where you are going and seeing and you're being you know, taking photos off. So you must always look fantastic. Uh, and if you don't manage your money well and you're not money savvy, you could run into debt. Just live your life like that. Thank you so much to Honse for those wonderful pearls of wisdom that you were willing to share with us. Take care, everyone.